performing admirably. To eliminate the impossible, whatever remains, however improbable, must be the truth. My God, man, you could at least act like it was a hard decision. I intend to assist in the effort to re-establish communication with Starfleet. However, if crew morale is better served by my roaming the halls weeping, I will gladly defer to your medical expertise. Excuse me. Green-blooded hobgoblin. Speak your mind, Spock. That would be unwise. What is necessary is never unwise. I am as conflicted as I once was as a child. You will always be a child of two worlds. I am grateful for this. And for you. I feel anger for the one who took Mother's life. An anger I cannot control. I believe... As she would say... Do not try to. I'm coming with you. I would cite regulation, but I know you will simply ignore it. See? We are getting to know each other. I will be back. Our first name's Neon. I have no comment on the matter. Okie doke. This is Captain James C. Kirk of the USS Enterprise. Your ship is compromised. Too close to the singularity to survive without assistance, which we are willing to provide. Captain, what are you doing? You show them compassion may be the only way to earn peace with Romulus. It's logic, Spock. I thought you'd like that. No, not really. Not this time. Have you confirmed that Nero is headed for Earth? Their trajectory suggests no other destination, Captain. Thank you, Lieutenant. Earth may be his next stop, but we have to assume every Federation planet's a target. Out of the chair. Well, if the Federation's... Doctor, the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. Spock! You all right? Captain, you let them see our ship. Oh, he's fine. You give me attitude, Spock. I'm expressing multiple attitudes simultaneously, sir. To which are you referring? Out. You're dismissed, Commander. Your suggestion that I do not care about dying is incorrect. A sentient being's optimal chance at maximizing their utility is a long and prosperous life. Great. Not exactly a love song, Spock. You misunderstand. It is true I chose not to feel anything upon realizing that my own life was ending. As Admiral Pike was dying, I joined with his consciousness and experienced what he felt at the moment of his passing. Anger, confusion, loneliness. 
Fear. I had experienced those feelings before. Multiplied exponentially on the day my planet was destroyed. Such a feeling is something I choose never to experience again. Nyota, you mistake my choice not to feel as a reflection of my not caring. While I assure you, the truth is precisely the opposite. Commander, I have that transmission as requested. On screen, please. Stand by. Mr. Spock. Mr. Spock. It is unwise to trivialize that which one simply does not understand, Doctor. If I may adopt a parlance with which you are familiar, I can confirm your theory to be horse shit. How are we gonna get out of this one, Spock? We got no ship, no crew. Not the best odds. We will do what we have always done, Jim. We will find hope. In the impossible. Let's get you patched up first, okay? Now, Captain, you must focus your efforts on helping the crew. Well, that's why I need you around, Spock. These things are from the Dark Ages. Lieutenant Uhura wears a Vokaya amulet, which I presented to her as a token of my affection and respect. You gave your girlfriend radioactive jewelry. The omission is harmless, Doctor, but its unique signature makes it very easy to identify. You gave your girlfriend a tracking device. That was not my intention. I'm glad he doesn't respect me. Spock, what are you doing here? Uh, clearly, I am here to rescue you. I thought I had to finish your mission report. I do. But I thought it would be more pleasing to engage with you socially. You old romantic. 